Good evening, Daniel. How are you? Tiene el micrófono apagado, Daniel. Daniel. Okay, so let me just move on to this. Daniel, me escucha? Yes. Hello. Daniel, tenemos problemas con el audio. Daniel, tenemos problemas con el audio. No sé si se puede desconectar y volverse a conectar, por favor. Lo sí, lo escucho. Ok. Ok, Daniel. Yes. Yes, Ten tenemos 10 minutos para... Uh, despejar. Hola, buenas. Sí, sí, buenas. lo escucho. Dígame. Eh, bueno, no sé, I don't know if you have any question regarding the classes that we had before. Si tiene alguna pregunta sobre la clase de ahora o la, los tópicos que cubrimos el día de ayer. Necesita uh, repaso o pronunciación. Ayuda con la Hola, buenas. Sí. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí, Daniel, le escucho. Ok, ok. Vaya. Yo ayer, yo no, yo no pude... No se le escucha en estos momentos, Daniel. Ayer. Sí. Entonces, ok. Yo no he podido accesar a, a ninguna clase todavía. Dígame. Sí, tuvo problemas con el, ¿cómo se llama? La plataforma. Sí, sí, pero hoy, ya me, hoy, hoy en el transcurso de la tarde ya me puedo registrar. Ah, oh, ok. Entonces, si quieres, vamos a ver, eh, no sé si puede encender la cámara que es requisito de Insafor que esté encendida la cámara a uh, todo el tiempo. Ok, voy a presentarle lo que hemos estado okay. viendo. Voy a compartir pantalla. Yo de... le comento, ayer, me, ayer, el día de ayer me llamaron. Yo les... Bueno. Sí, 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 le escucho. Sí, el día de ayer a mí me llamaron y yo les expliqué que se me complicaba por la noche. Ahorita, en, bueno, en estos momentos yo voy manejando ahorita. Ok, ah, ok, entiendo. Ok. Por eso no le puedo encender la, no puedo encender la cámara, pero sí lo puedo escuchar. Ok, no hay problema. Entonces, eh, lo que voy a hacer es decirle más o menos eh, de que lo que hemos estado hablando. Ok, primero... Eh, eh, las, las um, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, tiene que accesar a la plataforma porque después de cada okay. sesión de, de, de clase, al día siguiente se sube el video a la plataforma. Ya que usted tiene acceso a la plataforma, puede revisar la clase del día lunes y el día de ayer. Ah, okay. Entonces, okay. mañana... Uh, Temprano se va a subir eh, el video, a más tardar a, después del mediodía, durante el transcurso de la mañana, se estaría el, subiendo el video del día de ahora. 
Eh, los tópicos que hemos estado viendo, al menos ahorita, okay. es, eh, bueno, hice un, al, al principio de la clase del día viernes, hicimos una dinámica para conocernos un poco mejor, decir su nombre, de qué, de dónde viene, de dónde trabaja, where, where you are from, what's your name. Ok, basically, what is? No sé si me puede dar alguna información básica suya para que empecemos a practicar. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, no sé si me puede dar, um, me puede decir su nombre, what is your name, where you from, where are you from, so where do you work? So you can give me your basic information. Trate de hacerlo eh, el, de lo, del, del vocabulario que tiene al momento. Escucha. Ok, ok, Daniel. Eh, no se si le escucha. Ok, ok, entiendo. Eh, nada más eh, los lineamientos es eh, que cada, uh, lo que le estaba diciendo anteriormente, eh, después de cada clase hay un video y eh, hay una tarea uh, basada en la clase, en la estructura que hemos estado viendo durante la clase. Entonces, eh, es necesario que las tareas las haga junto con la clase para que lleve el hilo de la clase. Y si hay preguntas, con todo gusto, yo se las puedo responder. Me puede, eh, puede poner la pregunta ahí en el foro. Debajo del video hay un foro. Entonces, eh, en ese, eh, ahí puede hacer su comentario o me puede contactar directamente. Eh, yo soy abierto a cualquier pregunta, no me molesta que me pregunte, puede ser, eh, si usted cree que la pregunta es tonta, ninguna pregunta es tonta. Entonces, usted puede preguntar con mucha libertad, y yo con todo gusto le refuerzo o le contesto la pregunta, y o le mando o pongo posteo algo en la plataforma para despejar su pregunta. No sé si hay alguna pregunta, porque nada más tengo 10 minutos no, con no. usted. ¿Todo bien? Ok. Ok. Todo bien. Eh, sí, lo, lo único que era, lo que me costaba era poder ingresar a la plataforma, pero, pero sí. ya ahora lo solucioné en la tarde. Ya yo, no, ya, ya no habría problema. Ok. Entonces ahí estamos todos set. Eh, espero... Eh, eh, verlo en la clase del día de mañana. Acuérdense a las 8, no importa si se puede eh, ingresar un poquito tarde, con todo gusto ahí estamos. Ok, Daniel. Gusto. Muchas gracias. Bueno, la orden. Gracias. Gracias igual. Ok, bye. bye. Bueno, Ok, estoy esperando eh, que ingrese la otra persona, el otro participante que tengo agendado. Solo quiero ver acá quién tengo agendado. Lo tenía aquí en la mano. Vamos con... A las 10 y 10 con Jenny. 10 y 10 a 10 y 20.
Ok. Estoy esperando que Jenny pueda unirse a la sesión. Mientras tanto, eh, vamos a compartir pantalla. De lo que hemos visto por el momento. Que básicamente. Eh... Ok, hello Jenny. Hello, how, how no are me you? Okay, don't worry. Ok, do you have any question or a specific question regarding vocabulary, structure, or any question regarding today's class? Eh, de hecho, en voz pasiva, estoy la, ahí que, que okay. no me ubico mucho. La voz pasiva. Okay. Creo que, ah, que ha sido como los ejemplos, lo, lo Infinity, como tanto lo hemos repetido, como uh -huh. que ya nos vamos adaptando, ¿verdad? Pero cuando right. tenemos algo nuevo, se nos dificulta. Ok, le voy a compartir pantalla de, déjeme solo pasar el Word a la otra pantalla. Ok. Y le voy a compartir la pantalla. I will share the screen. Ok. So we have this part. En order just to use the active voice. La voz activa. Es cuando la persona que hace la acción, the person who does the action is first. I, okay. I um, do my homework. Okay. ¿Quién hace la acción? Yo. ¿Quién recibe la acción? Home, homework. Right? Homework. And recibe la acción es homework. Ok, vamos mm -hmm. a cambiar esto a... Eh, ok, now, si nosotros queremos enfatizar, we need to need to emphasize who does the action, mm -hmm. it has to be the other way. Homework va a ir al principio. Y vamos a utilizar el verbo be. Sería homework, como es singular, we use is. ¿Cuál es? Which is the verb? Do, right? Is do. Do, mm -hmm. pero como el pasado participio es de ese, sería. sería don. Ok, homework mm -hmm. is done. Si nosotros queremos decir quién hizo la acción, we use by y Francisco. Lo que hacemos es en la activa y siempre podemos decir la siempre tenemos que decir quién hizo la opción o esa mm, es como opcional. Es opcional, al menos no necesariamente. Usted, no necesariamente, al menos que usted considere que es importante la persona que hizo la acción o usted okay. quiera mencionarla. Pero si no es, si no la quiere mencionar, solo se deja. Homework is done. Ok. Ahí no es importante quién hace la acción. Eh, siempre se va a usar el pasado participio. Así es. Vamos a utilizar el verbo be, que es verb be. La, la, la única manera de es aprenderse los verbos, ¿verdad? En las That's primeras. Right. That's right. Ahorita eh, les, 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 se le hace más fácil eh, aprenderse eh, los verbos irregulares. ¿Por qué más fácil? Porque no se tiene que aprender todos. Por ejemplo, uh, los verbos regulares, como les decía en la clase, as I said in the, the class, we are mm -hmm. just ed at the end. Like mm -hmm. work. We use work. 
and we use work as past participle. Este es presente, este es pas pasado, y el pasado participio es el mismo. Es más fácil okay. con los verbos regulares. Los verbos irregulares, okay. sí, you have to learn them. Ok. Okay. Eh, lo tenemos tres minutos y quiero hacer otra sí. consulta. Dígame. En la plataforma eh, estoy trabajando en la tarea 4. Uh -huh. Y eh, como ejemplo, si tú eres responsable, tu, tu valor es educación. Le pues estoy yo, pero estoy ahí como que no entiendo mucho la tarea. Si tú eres puntual, eres responsable para mí en español, pero no sé si, si estoy en lo correcto o estoy mal. La tarea 4, déjeme ver. De la plataforma. Cree que puedes compartir pantalla, solo para... Voy a dejar de compartir la mía. Eh, este, pero me... Lo que pasa es que no sí, tengo... Sí, yo creo que sí, no pero estoy... La tarea ahí estoy en ah, la okay. computadora ah, y okay. estoy en, en... En el teléfono. Vamos, okay. Okay. Así se ve, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Vaya, estamos ahí, dice instructions. Read the final sí. sentence and type the value. And type the value. Okay. You are respectful. You show. Okay. Ahí lo que va a hacer es, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, indicar el valor. ¿Cuál es el valor uh -huh. cuando usted muestra respeto? Educación. Uh -huh. That's fine. O sea, está bien. Uh -huh. Pero a veces ahí en la plataforma, le digo no por esto, uh -huh. trataba de hacerla rápido para que usted viera porque a veces no es la, la palabra correcta y te lo tira malo. Ok, probablemente es por al, porque acuérdense que al empezar una oración tiene que ir con a, a la letra mayúscula. Tiene uh -huh. que ver también la puntuación, una coma, eh, un punto. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso es que la plataforma eh, reconoce ese tipo de, de, de ¿cómo, se, ¿cómo decirle? Eh, reconoce las mayúsculas, los puntos y, y los signos. Y en el caso, teacher, que sea otra la respuesta de ellos y no lo que yo piense ahí, eso es como algo que... Ok, que lo, me... lo que yo hago, lo que yo hago es revisar eh, el progreso. Reviso uh -huh. cuál es hasta que es, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, usted entrega la tarea, yo puedo ver en lo que ha hecho. Si okay. en caso usted no quiere, entre, no quiere mandar la tarea y quiere consultar antes, con gusto yo, yo le respondo. Y le digo y, le, y le, le oriento cuál sería la respuesta más idónea o más perfecta o la respuesta correcta. Y en ese caso que tengo ahí esas tres que estaba haciendo. La segunda, mágicamente... déjeme ver, lo que pasa es que no tengo, no, no tengo la página abierta. Déjeme ver, dice, you are punctual, you show responsibility. Está bien. You are honest, you show integrity. Yes. Está bien. Okay. Voy por buen camino. That's dice. right. Ok, Jenny, <laughs> any other question? No, no, teacher. Eh, bueno, hay miles de dudas, pero creo que se van a ir evacuando conforme vayamos en la clase, ¿verdad? Ok, that's fine. Gracias. Ok, welcome. Have a great night. Bye bye. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you. Ok, hoy estoy esperando a la siguiente persona. Vamos a ver quién. Tengo agendado. Tengo agendado a Kenia Alexandra Montenegro Galdames. Ella no estuvo en la clase de ayer, me contactó y me dijo que eh, había estado un poco mala de salud. Eh, no, eh, she didn't uh, attend a today's class. But what we're going to do is just make a little review in the case. Um, 
I just waiting for her, but I will just stay in there and I will share the, the topics that we cover um, just today. Let me just close this screen. Okay. Bueno, vamos a esperar a Alexandra, que está en dada. She's okay, scheduled from 10:20 uh, to 10:30. on to some things here. I will just mute the microphone. Okay, Gloria, yeah. we just omit that one. Okay. Okay, let me just to For today's class, today one on one session, I, um, it was a schedule of uh, Eduardo Antonio Angel Martinez, Jenny Quesada Fernandez de Campos, um, Kenny Alexandra Montenegro Aldames, Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos, and Monica Guadalupe Martinez Munguia. They were scheduled for today's class, but only I just spoke with Jenny. Quesada. Um, she asked some questions about um, the passive voice, the passive voice that we just covered today. And uh, the passive voice structure is just we use the verb be. Okay, remember we can use in present or in past. The verb be is I am. Okay, that is am is an R, that is the verb be. And we have I, you can just um, do it with am, um, he, and she, and it, we use with S, and you, we, and they, we use with R. Okay, for example, I am, 
he, she, and it. He is, she is, it is. We, you, and they. You are, they are, and we are. Okay, remember, you is in singular, and you we have in plural. Okay? And uh, um, we use the verb be and the past participle of the verb. Okay, remember, in this case, we use, if it's a regular verb, we use it as, as it is, as the same in past, in the simple past. We use work, worked, as in past. Past participle, the same thing, worked. Um, but with irregular verbs, we have some changes. For example, we have in present, cut. In past, we have cut. And in past participle, we have cut as well. Okay, but we, in that case, we need to use the same verb. It doesn't change. Um, as well, uh, what we need is, and in this type of structure is in order to emphasize who receives the action, no, who does the action. We emphasize it, who receives the action. For example, my mother cleans the house. My mother is the door or the person who does the action and the house is the object who receives the action. In passive voice should be, the house is clean. In that case, we use is because is the house is singular. And clean, we use in the past participle. Remember, clean is a regular verb, okay? My man cleans, cleans the house, is the active voice. The house is cleaned. In case we need to, um, we need to um, give the person who does the action, in this case it should be, my mom, um, excuse me, the house is cleaned by my mother, okay? Um, basically, that is the purpose of the, and to use the passables, okay? To emphasize who receives the action in that case. Okay, um, that is one of the topics that we covered today in today's class. And basically that is the purpose of using uh, the passive voice. Okay, another topic, uh, the topic that we covered uh, yesterday is regarding the um, gerunds, how to use gerunds, in this case, the ing form after a preposition. I mentioned some examples of using the ing form of that and I will just open the presentation that I had for yesterday. Okay, I just received a note from my daughter. Okay, because she's she's going to bed right now. I just received this not um, just telling me uh, good night and uh, I have a uh, no, just a dream with the angels and uh, my daughters that's why I just have this one just she's saying uh, good night okay just a little commercial about that little about that but uh, before um, in order just to um, charge the presentation that I have. Let me just to open it and I will have, I will just mention some of the examples that I gave yesterday. Okay, um, just I have the gerunds, okay, the gerunds after prepositions. 
Okay, we use gerunds after a preposition. Okay, what are the prepositions? Okay, we have uh, so, uh, some examples after, uh, before, by, in spite of, on, without, that is some of the prepositions that I have. Uh, some sentences regarding those prepositions shall be, after having a shower, I waited for Steven. Or we can just change the order of the sentence. Uh, remember, in this case, when we use a uh, preposition at the beginning of the of the sentence, we need to use a comma before the subject, which is the subject in this sentence, I. I can say, I waited for Steven after having a shower. Or we can say, after having a shower, I waited for Steven. Okay, that is one of the way. Now, uh, we have another preposition before. Okay, the tablet must not be taken before getting in the morning. Okay, if you see, before getting. After a preposition, we use a verb. And that verb needs to be with ing form. Okay, I manage, I manage it by uh, working much longer than 40 hours, weeks, or per week. Okay, if you see, uh, the preposition in this case is by, then we have a verb, which is work, but the rule says after a preposition, we need to use an ing form, by working. Okay, we have in spite of. Okay, in spite of studying, we have of, which is the preposition. In this case, in spite of is a preposition about that. It's study, it's the verb, and then we need to add ing form, it's studying. A lot of, he didn't pass, in spite of studying a lot of, a lot, excuse me, he didn't pass the exam. Okay, we have on. What was her reaction on hearing the news? In this case, it's a question, but we have the preposition on, and then we have a verb which is here, and then uh, because the rule says we need to add ing form, we need in case hearing the news. We have the preposition without. He told the jock without laughing. Okay, if you see or if you hear, we use the ing form about that. Okay, so. Um, I was waiting, I am waiting for the other person. Okay, the other person is special. Just moving on here. Just check it. In Alexandra, uh, Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. He's supposed to be from 10.30 to 10.40. Okay. And uh, from 10.30 to 10.40. But um, this person is not at the is not joined to this meeting. Okay, um, five minutes has been passed and is not joined to the meeting. I just um, opening the schedule chart that admin sent to us. So I move on to that. And I just waiting for that because I have one, two, three, four, five people. And I think this session will uh, finish at 10 at 50 base of the, of the schedule that I got. But just let me reopen to this. Just moving on to that part. Just 
making sure. I will just open here in my cell phone because it's not open that one in my computer. Okay, yes, I have the list here. So we have Eduardo, and let me just turn in this. Yes, once again, we have Eduardo Antonio Angel Martinez from 10 to 10, 10. Um, he didn't log in because I have Dennis in the call, in the meeting. And I have Jenny Quesada Fernandez de Campos. Um, she, she got in the meeting from 10.10 to 10.20. And uh, I have uh, Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. She's supposed to be joining the meeting from 10.20 to 10.30. Uh, we have Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. Um, he's supposed to join uh, at this meeting from 10.30 to 10.40. And the last person uh, supposed to log in in, uh, in two minutes, which is Monica Guadalupe Martinez from uh, 10.40 to 10.50, which is the last person that um, I received the schedule today. Only I have one, two, three, four, five people supposed to um, help with vocabulary or any question they might have. So I just waiting two minutes, just one minute, excuse me, um, to this person join to the conference, or to this meeting. Okay. And uh, I was saying uh, regarding the, I'm going back to the review uh, before um, the ING forms on Monday. On Monday, we cover uh, the infinitive, how to use the infinitives. Okay, what is the reason to use the infinitive? Um, that's why I just review, or in the case, I covered that one and the case so uh in order that the purpose or in this case the reason to use an infinitive is just to um, give a reason of a purpose why we did an action for example i went to guatemala to have a training okay i went to guatemala that's what i did what was the reason that I went there to have or to get into the training or to receive a training, okay? If you see, we have the infinitive just to express purpose of that. Okay, uh, at this point, uh, there is 10, uh, 40. Um, Monica Guadalupe Martinez is supposed to join to the meeting, but she's not she's not here yet okay i will just continue with that just to review and uh, we're talking about business right so companies okay so the mission of vision of a company for example one of the missions that we just made or in this case this cost is to be most customer-centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything um, they want to buy online. So in this case, what is the, the, what is the company that is for that um, mission statement? Okay, so for that, the company that provides that um, or is belongs to that mission statement to be customers, 
um, to be the most customer centric company in the world where people can find a discover anything they want to buy online. What is uh, the company that buy online? So we we talking about Amazon. Okay, another um, sentence or uh, mission statements that we have is to be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. Okay, what we're talking about, what is that company that uh, this uh, mission statement belongs to? Is Chevron, to be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. Uh, we're talking about Chevron. Now, next mission statement. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. What is the key word here? Athlete. So who is, what is the company who um, designs not only um, clothes, but also shoes? Sports clothes, shoes, uh, sports shoes. Okay, we have Nike. And the last mission statement that we uh, were, went over to is to inspire and uh, nurture the human spirit. One person, one cop, and one neighborhood at a time. What are the key words? One person, one cop. When you uh, hear the word cop, what comes to your mind? A cup of tea, a cup of coffee, Okay, so yes, that is a cup of coffee. We talk, uh, we are talking about uh, Starbucks. So in order just to construct a mission statement, we use infinitive. Why is the reason, what is the reason that we use an infinitive just to address a purpose. As I mentioned before, in the first sentence that I gave you, as I went to Guatemala, for what reason? To have a training. Okay, so I am studying, okay, English because, or in this case, um, you need to give a reason, excuse me. I am studying English to get a better job. If you see, to get is the infinitive. That is one of the uh, topics that we cover on Monday. Okay, so also we going over to some vocabulary that some students ask about. For example, in that question, in the, con the conversation on page, let me see, in page nine, they're talking about um, prefer, what chooses prefer. Okay, prefer, um, I gave the meaning of that. Also, they talk about, um, let me just to just remember. Um, for check in, um, check in and check out, I explain them uh, that check in is when you arrive at a hotel and you um, sign some paperwork or just uh, write your name that, and, uh, and the person who is attending uh, gives you the key, the room's key, or uh, give directions what is your room number. And check out when you go away from the hotel or hostel in the K hostel or motel in you are okay so basically that's what we cover uh, we talk about um, mission statements mission of the companies and also um, basically that's what we cover during the during Monday and Tuesday and today we cover the a passive voice, okay, in order just to emphasize who receives the action, not who does the action, okay? That is what 
we cover today. Okay, that is just four minutes. Um, that is right now is 10.47. So this session ends at 10.50. Um, so we go just with it three more minutes. So uh, the person who were, who was, excuse me, uh, scheduled at this session um, didn't um, come in or didn't join to this session. So just wait three minutes and this session will be end. Okay, just uh, before the three minutes um, I'm waiting for, so um, people also um, ask for some uh, pronunciation regarding the conversation that we covered today. Okay, they talking about, uh, somebody asked me about what is the reason we use known, K-N-O-W-N. I just explain here that uh, that is an irregular verb and that needs to be in the structure we need to use it because in order to uh, provide uh, uh, passive voice, we need to use the verb be plus the past participle of the verb. Um, also, they ask for pronunciation recognize. Uh, we just went over to that. Also, the pronunciation of rated, okay? And also, um, I just correct the pronunciation that designs and also prestigious, okay? They were, they asked for that. Okay, um, there's just one minute left. Okay, I just want to um, say uh, good night to everybody and i see you. Uh, next class. So tomorrow, remember, is uh, the class begins at eight. We have it from eight to ten p.m. And uh, as I told you at uh, the first session, if you have question, please ask them. And uh, I don't get mad or I don't bother um, if you ask some questions. I don't get mad about that. Uh, so you can ask the questions regarding the topics that we cover. Um, we are um, that we are seeing or we cover in the previous classes. Okay, guys. Uh, that's right now is ten fifty. I will end the meeting. Have a great night, guys. Bye bye.